learn to fight. Yo, John Fitch here, and I got another episode of Learn to Fight for you. And we have here a great example of how stupid or weak friends can actually be worse than strong enemies. And we've got a couple guys who are on the sidewalk here, going to square off. Uh, they're surrounded by a crowd of guys. I don't know exactly what's going on here, but they're going to settle some beef. Uh, so this is not self-defense. This is a unlicensed, unsanctioned fight. Some level of rules, but no rules because it is a street fight. It's not the same as self-defense. We've got to be clear about that. These guys, either one of them could have walked away, could have left and not engaged in this stupidity. It's dumb. Fighting on the street, you're not you're not getting a reward. You're not getting a trophy. The only thing you're going to win is possibly jail time and some lawsuits. And uh, you may be featured on this show. That's about it. So it's really not worth it. You want to fight, get into a gym. What we'll see here is these guys square up. And right before they're about ready to get into it, one of the friends pushes his other friend into the fray. Pushes him into the fight. And he ends up pushing him right into a right hand. And the guy gets knocked out and then punted. You might want to look away for the punt. It is a pretty, pretty, pretty brutal uh, soccer kick. Pay attention to the dummy <laughs> behind the guy in the white shirt because he is the guy who uh, is responsible and you can kind of see his face kind of like, oh, whoops, kind of made a mistake. And he fades, pulls the Homer Simpson and fades back into the bushes. Let's take a peek. You see him squaring off. There's the push and then the right hand. It's pretty quick. That guy standing back there like, whoops. There again, push. Punches him. You see the guy's got his hands up. He's he's judging range a little bit. He wants to control that space. And then his friend pushes him. Off balance. Head comes forward. And uh, shirtless, shirtless guy takes advantage of the situation. Binks him. And then the soccer bank. Both these guys look like maybe they've had a little bit of boxing experience because they get into stances that are relatively okay. They start moving a little bit, start getting their hands up. Looks like they've at least had a couple rough and tumbles in the street, if not some gym work. But all that preparedness, this guy could have been a world-class fighter maybe, but he gets pushed into a bad situation. There wasn't much room for him to go anywhere. You've got car on one side. You got people on the other smoking cigarettes. It's probably outside of a pub or something. And uh, guy gets shoved from it by his friend from behind. You know, part of me wants to wonder if that's his friend at all. <laughs> is that his friend or is that the other guy's friend? Because that was not that was not smart. Stupid friends, I'm telling you. Stupid friends and weak friends. Stupid friends will do dumb stuff like this, push you into a fight. Weak friends will stand by and let you get punted in the face. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I, don't, I don't know. You think the guy could have could have realized that what he did was a mistake and moved forward after the guy dropped and done something instead of standing there like a dummy whoops he just stand, stood there watching his friend get punted <sighs> stupid friends I'm telling you <clears throat> anytime you think back about your parents being mean about you hanging out with certain people maybe they knew something maybe they knew that you could get along with somebody and they could be your, your friend but they're stupid and they do dumb things and they drag everyone around them down <laughs> so maybe if your parents are telling you you should probably not hang around certain people maybe that they might have some knowledge there <laughs> maybe just a little but this is dumb avoidable fight 100 percent avoidable the friend made it a lot worse than it should have been there you go another completely avo avoidable fight something that didn't have to happen these guys didn't have to square up in the street like this 
I doubt there was that serious of something that happened where they just, it, it was a priority. We have to drop everything, go out in the street, and we have to fight. It's dumb. It's dumb. I really, I really doubt it. If you just got some kind of grudge, you have a grudge match, why not go ahead and set up a real fight? Set it up. You want it, you want it to be raw? You can do bare knuckle. They have bare knuckle fights all over the place. You could do uh, King of the Streets. You could do uh, Game Bread, bare knuckle MMA. You can go one FC, knees in the head, soccer kicks. There's plenty of places where you can go and test your metal if you're an actual tough guy. If you're fighting in the streets, you're probably just stupid. If you're stupid, there's probably a good chance you have stupid friends and they're gonna do something stupid like this guy did and shove you into a right hand. Best to avoid. Get your butt to a gym. Get your butt to a gym. Train. Know how to fight. Understand what fighting is. The guy who screwed up and pushed his friend, that guy, if he had some uh, level of knowledge of fighting, he probably wouldn't have pushed his friend in, into that punching range. Maybe he would have understood that a little bit. I don't know. I think you're just way better off having the ability to, to defend yourself. You're way better off knowing some grappling. You're way better off having at least a couple good punches. You're way better off knowing how to keep people from taking you to the ground and keeping control of you. You're just better off. Know those things. Turn it into a fun game. Learn how to escape positions. Learn how to dominate positions. It's good for you. It's healthy. You will grow and be stronger and learn more about yourself and life. Do it. Learn how to fight, guys. I got programs below. You can check those out. Get yourself started. The, the uh, intro to practical self-defense is free. Practical self-defense, you can do that next level. Get yourself going. Those, those two things alone will get you at a, at a degree where you're su much superior to your average person, big time. Knowing how to hand fight, knowing how to escape certain positions on your feet. I'm putting together the Fitch Mash program, the long version. I'm going to have that coming. That's the big project I'm working on. I've got the uh, rough draft coming along now. Once I get the, uh, the rough draft done, I'm hoping that'll take less than six months because just my schedule and stuff. But I'm working on it. I'm getting there. So keep an eye out for that. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll check you guys later. 